Hello guys, welcome to the first war of season number 28. So we're in season 28, war number one. I am assigned to take path two. And you see, I'm about to face a man thing. The champs I bought are Captain Marvel movie, Nick Fury, and Doom. All three of them were six stars, rank three. Only Doom is not awakened. So anyways, I'm assigned to take path two and I'm fully boosted and I believe I used uh, I forgot what boost I used. Anyways, this was possibly the hardest path, the, the, the hardest fight for me on my path, for sure. Even going into it, I'm like, ah, uh, I was thinking about should I bring Torch? But then I'm also taking the boss at the end, so I'm like, yeah, I need Captain Marvel movie. So yeah, the, the thing for this fight is just build up my charges. I just try to build my charges. See, I'm at 22 charges now. Just waiting to get to 25. Yeah. At 25 now, I should fight special too soon. There it is. Losing a lot of health. But still. It's alright. See, double heavy to build some charges up. Still got in. And it's Dr. Watch is gone now. Fight is almost over. One more SP2 should be over. And I finish around like 18, 19 charges. And I was also assigned to take the, I was assigned to take Mini, the Korg Mini right here, but I took too long. So one of my teammates <laughs> but was like, F this, I'm taking it. <laughs> so yeah, he took the Korg with no problem. I was, I was assigned to it, but he took it with no problem anyways. Skip to my path. This is the second session of my path. Right here. So yeah, this, this fight, yeah, I did not mean to get the combo like that. So yeah, it got combo. Boom, SB2 should be coming soon. This should be a pretty easy fight. I should never got a hit, got hit. Yeah, so right here, should be a five hit combo, SB2. And should finish it with either a heavy or just, yeah. I try to go for a, a quick light, a medium and a heavy, but he died just from the medium. So I got Magneto. Magneto was a bit concerning. I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely not using Nick or Doom. Captain Marvel it is. I think my re regen boost is still active. I don't remember. It should still be active, so yeah. Oh, I was a bit thinking about should I heal up, because I have a lot of, I've been stacking up a lot of potions, but I chose not to heal. I was trying my best to like not use potions, not because I don't have it, just to like have faith in my, in my skills a little bit and stuff like that. So my main point, and doing war is like I want to be able to complete my path and take as much minis and bosses as possible without giving any death. I'll try my best to go deathless. This is a new alliance I'm with. So I gotta make a good impression. I was also assigned to take this analysis right here and I'm like, okay, Doom should do it pretty good. Yeah, I don't know much about analysis, I don't even read his things. I literally just found out in this fight that he's incinerate immune. <laughs> So when I fired my SP2 at one point, I'm thinking like, oh shit, that's gonna finish it. And that shit said me and I was like, oh fuck. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm winning I'm winning five out of five Mystic Dispersion. Mystic Dispersion is probably my is probably my favorite mastery. I always win five out of five whenever I'm not winning suicides. And I only run suicides in the off season to grind some arenas. Whenever the season starts, I take off suicides and I and I do not do arenas. So anyways, I'm trying to go into the doom cycle here. I probably could have get some quick five hit combo in first, but once the doom cycle, and I thought he was power drain immune. Come to find out, he was incinerate immune. So yeah, the highlights of the doom cycle is three hits: heavy, light, light. I mean, medium, light, light, and then we we'll go right to it. This way, I think I fire the SP two. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna incinerate him and immune. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm just waiting, hopefully trying to power drain him soon, boom, got it. I'm not too good at avoiding a knowledge special one or special two, so this whole time I'm like, yeah, let me just try to finish this before he fires one of them. And good, he didn't fire none of them, I think I'll go for his SP2 soon, do I? No, just finished it with combos. Anyways, that's it for that. And then for the mini island, we're on mini island right now. I was assigned to, there was a bishop and before Killmonger, I suck at fighting bishops. So 
I told her later I'm, I'm able to take K Killmonger, Mr. Fantastic, and the boss, which is easy for Cap Marvel. So this is this is Killmonger right here. I'm boosted with the regen, regen health. You see, right here, twenty five charges. His SP two is pretty easy to evade. So his SP one. My whole thing is to not do my SP two. I'm not even getting to SP two. So my whole thing is to not stun him with SP two or my heavies. Cause you know if you if you hit someone with heavy with Captain Marvel while they're doing the heavy, you you stun him like right there. I'm like no. Usually I'll do a heavy to stun him to bring my charges up, but not with Killmonger, and this this, this not going on. So if it has to be two, the fight should be over soon. I'm at 12 charges. At this point, I'm not worried about my charges going down, even though I'm going to use Cap Moe for the boss. I'm not worried about my charges going down, because she's going to get it right back. Yeah, so here, yeah, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, pretty simple fight, Mr. Fantastic. With Nick, this is my first time using Nick in this war. All you gotta do is try your best to get to SP1 quickly two times so you can get five charges. And even if you do die, it don't really matter. Nick still got his decoy. So yeah, just his SP1 is pretty simple to evade. So just get to SP1, fire rate, you get four charges. And fire another SP1. And once you over five charges, <coughs> He can't evade. Like right now, he could evade because it's only four charges. But just one more SP1, just gotta play carefully. One more SP1, and boom, you don't gotta worry about anything at all once you over five charges. Now, all you gotta do is maintain those SP1s to make sure you over five charges each time. Yeah, this is the fantastic fight. It's pretty simple. Just waiting for it to be over. Like I said, I, I love to chase those MVP bonuses, so I love to take as much fight as possible, but like to do it efficiently like where I don't give any deaths at all or try my best not to give any deaths that's that's my goal is to try my best not to give any death each fight boost every single fight yeah I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't boost heavy I never use like a 25 30 percent boost I was like a 10 or 15 percent yeah but I always boost for every single fight anyways back to the thing you see I'm right here how much choice is that five or nine I think that's nine. Yeah, so fight it's it's pretty long but simple, very simple fight. At the end at, at the very close to the end of this fight, I'm gonna be taking some damage from the nod just because he's gonna be very passive all of a sudden. He's gonna choose to be very passive and just not attack and I'm gonna be degening, but it's not gonna be a big deal. Yeah, so right here, basically it's just waiting it out right here, just yeah, so the fight is basically over. Yeah, I think it's about here. I'll throw one more SP1. And he's about to be very passive. Yeah. For the like next 10-15 seconds, I would say he's going to be very, very passive doing his SP1. So I'm just trying to bait him out. He's not doing it. Yep. Yep. Not doing it. I'm like, okay, take your time. Nine but time, he's just, yep, finally do it. I'm like, okay, time to finish this. Boom, and finish it with SP1. Finally, I'm assigned to take the boss. It's not, a, it, it's still linked, but it's not a powerful link. It's just a hazard, incinerate, and poison link. And you guys know how to use Captain Marvel. You know that those incendiaries just bring her charges up very quickly. That's why I wasn't worried. I was thinking, should I heal up? But I'm like, mm, just an end from both should be good enough. So I chose not to heal up. And at one point of this fight, like he caught me very early and took my end from both out. You see, that's why I was thinking about if I should heal up or not. I'm like, uh, not that I don't have it or I'm being greedy about it. Just like, I don't think it's needed if I just have the end from both because like, like this fight is so easy. Terrax is so easy with Cap Marvel. His charges bring Cap Marvel things up, and plus he's linked with the Incinerate. My main thing is to is to make sure that as the fight go on, and I'm over twenty five charges, to like be careful later on. See, like now I'm Incinerate. That's good. Like all I gotta do is backdraft, intercept, backdraft, intercept. Just keep backdrafting, and I could end it right here, just like that. 
and then but i don't know what happened there i just stood there i guess you use the envelopes it got you gotta somehow use it so that's that's the only thing you gotta worry about right here a little bit is when your charges are up see right here this one i'm playing the waiting game now i'm playing i'm waiting for it to go back to poison just a little bit the incinerators don't do much damage but still I'm waiting, I'm basically waiting for my charges to run out so I could build them right back up. I'm just waiting for my charges to run out a little bit. I think I'm going to use the SP2 to make them run out a bit quicker soon. I don't remember if I did. I think I did. Yeah, so yeah, right here, I use SP2 to make it run out so and then now the incinerator is going to bring them right back up. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting to get my and they start to put boost but uh charge but i didn't get it on the wall i think it's because it ran out the exact same time yeah anyway so yeah just back drive into set from here and it should be an easy fight easy just back drive i don't remember if i go for one more speed too i think i did yeah i probably should have so just end it yeah i did and fight over yeah 60 hits pretty smooth and easy and Finish the fight, we only gave 4 deaths, they gave us 18, as a total we give 20 to that 30 plus, and like I say, chasing, here's my team stats if anybody's interested in those items and all that, everyone did a great job, like I said, new lines, pretty cool, yeah. so view defense, I'll be showing some of the spots if anybody want to oh, see where each champ got a kills if they want to try them out. Yeah, I didn't get no kills at all, you can see. I didn't get none. Turk and Mandeline got the most kills with eight and four. So yeah, from here, I'll just be tapping. To show the kills if, any, if anyone is interested in those. It was a pretty great war, so season 28 starts with a dub. We got a first one of the season and we didn't give up no deaths. Which is good. Hoping to keep it going just like that. Yeah. And here's the final stats. As you can see, we won. Like I said, always chasing those MVPs without giving deaths. And got my first MVP in the newer lines. Which is pretty good. Yeah. So me, I mean, Icon, me, and G. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vid, like, comment, sub subscribe, share, anyone that's watching, I appreciate you, thank you, peace out.